Jeremy, last season there were all those injuries, and then the offseason you were released by the Chiefs. So finally last <coughs> week, your first touchdown in a Ravens uniform. How did that feel? Uh, it felt good. It felt good, you know, to, um, you know, just just to be able to play football again. You know, you uh, you know, you put in so much work. Um, you know, from from you know the end of last season to the beginning of this season. Um, so just to play football again in general felt really really good. Baltimore's defense dominated the Bengals. They forced five turnovers, ultimately shutting them out. And you go up against that defense every day in practice, and certainly after a long training camp. How good can the Ravens' defense be? I think the sky's the limit. Uh, you know, the, the, you saw those guys on Sunday flying around, uh, you know, forcing turnovers. Um, you know, everybody's doing, you know, their responsibilities. And, and I think they're having fun out there playing. And I think that's, that's one of the more important things is never forget, never forget to have fun. Um, you know, and, and I think, like I said, you know, the sky's the limit. You know, a lot of great players on that defense. You know, I, I guess it was probably difficult for Joe Flacco to have a lot of fun during the offseason because he was dealing with the injury and there were some question marks coming into the season. What have you seen from him so far? Um, you know, I, I've only had a chance to work with him, you know, for, for a short period of time. But, uh, you know, everything that I've seen is, uh, you know, as, as, as advertised, um, you know, he's, he's a phenomenal quarterback. You know, he's a. Uh, He's been able to kind of step back in, you know, take command of the huddle, um, you know, take command of, of what we got going on on offense and, uh, you know, putting us in position to be successful. And I think that's what you want, you know, out of your quarterback. I think that's something he's been doing for a very long time. And I think that's something he'll continue to do for a very long time. And Jeremy, anytime you work with a quarterback and you said it, there's been limited time. So the timing and the rhythm, I, I would imagine, still has some work to do. Where is your chemistry level with your quarterback right now? Um, you know, I, I think it's pretty good. You know, I think this week in practice, um, you know, we kind of, uh, you know, ramped it up a little bit and uh, we're able to kind of, you know, do some different things. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, the offensive passing game has, has been pretty sharp. Um, you know, week one, you know, we were able to kind of control the ball uh, with our run game and our defense play, play very, you know, you know, out of their mind. So, um, you know, when you have that recipe, uh, there's no need to kind of, you know, air the ball out. So, uh, you, know, you know, this is a National Football League, so there's going to be games where you got to throw the ball a little bit more. And uh, when that comes, you know, we'll be able to do that. Jeremy, we talked about defense, so let's spin it forward. This week you've got the Browns, and, and Greg Williams had that defense playing solid against Pittsburgh. I'm sure they'll be ready again this week. What challenges in particular does that defense present? Well, they, they, play, they play fast. They play fast. Those guys are flying around. Uh, you see a lot of different guys on tape making, making plays. Um, you know, I think they've really bought into what, to what – uh, you know, Greg is over there doing so, um, you know, he, uh, you know, he has those guys believing in him. And, and you know, when you believe in your coach, uh, I think it, you, know, you have the opportunity to let your talent show a little bit more. Um, so uh, I think I think it'll be a good test for us. Um, but I also feel like if we come out and do the things that, that we're capable of doing on the offensive side of the ball, I think we'll be just fine. When you were making the rounds and trying to decide where to play Jimmy's Seafood, offered you a lifetime supply uh -huh. of crab cakes to play in Baltimore. Have you had a chance to take them up on their offer? Oh, yeah, I've, I've been there. I've only had a chance to go there once. Uh, me and the fam went there one time, but uh, Jimmy better believe I'm on my way soon for sure. So all right, let me ask you this. This may be the most important question all day. You got married in May and we saw the picture of you with Coach Andy Reid and Alex Smith. So mm -hmm. which of those two is the better dancer? Everybody wants to know. I got, I got to get it to Alex. Alex, Alex was on the dance floor. Him and his wife, they they, they had they had a good time. <laughs> and not Coach Reed. Nothing. No moves. Nothing to speak of. <laughs> he probably was over there tapping his foot a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but but Alex, Alex, Alex was getting down on the dance floor. All right, fair enough. Jeremy, thanks so much for being with us, and best of luck during the season. Appreciate you.